How do for Lord Such here, and today I am playing Survival from Sinclair Research and Macmillan Education. It's an educational game. Now, Macmillan's my clan, so I should expect a royalty check in the post soon. This game was suggested by Nope, by the way, who also suggested Biorounds, so I've got a feeling Nope doesn't like me. Ha! This came out in 1984, and as I said, it's an educational game, and it's teaching us ecology, because that's how we rolled in the 80s. Now, in this game, you select an animal of the wild, a wild animal. And I have picked a hawk. Though I could have picked, let's say, a lion or a bumblebee or a robin. Yeah, I've gone for a hawk. And because I've picked a hawk, I can see great distances. So I can see prey from a many a mile. So on the minimap, you'll notice I can see lots of circles. Now, circles indicate where the prey is. It doesn't tell me what the prey is until I get close. So here you can see a weasel. Get my belly, weasel. And a rabbit. Get my belly. So my big fat hawk belly now is looking fairly full. And I've brought the key up on the bottom. So it tells us what we are seeing on both the mini map and the main map. Controls are indicated on the big map around us. So T, Y, V and all that business. Uh, so I go up to the prey, which is indicated by a circle. I go up to it and I see it. Now if the prey is what I would like to eat like a weasel or a robin or something like that. I'll gobble it up because it's full of energy. There you go, robin. Get my fat tummy. So go up to it and eat it. However, if it's an insect... Oh, hang on, there's a cross. A cross indicates a predator. Somebody that wants to kill me. Now, that's because I went into the town. Because it's black. The town also has some prey in it for me. Oh, another hunter. Because they're out the scrubland. Uh, the town has some prey in it for me, but... They've also got humans in it. As I was saying before, though, sometimes the prey will be insects. Now, I get energy from insects, but not a lot. But that prey is suitable for the prey I like to eat, like weasels and robins and stuff like that. So if I let my prey eat their prey, then I can eat the big fat robins and weasels and rabbits and stuff like that and get more energy. You see how ecology works now, kids? See how this game was good in the past? Yes? Yeah, it's good, isn't it? Educational, not very exciting, but it, I can see how it's good. But, you know, the aim of the game is to die. Oh, I'm getting too close to the snow here. Got to be careful. The keys are not responsible. Oh, tits. Flew into the snow and I died. It's educational. It's interesting. There's a booklet that comes with it which tells you all about the animals, etc. But I'll go back in. I'll go back in and I'll pick a different animal. Shall I pick uh, a lion? I'll pick a lion this time. Now you can pick where you want to start on the map. However, you can't see where you are going to start on the map. So I could technically drop myself into a pile of shit. I'll be honest. I could put my lion in the middle of a town. That'd be a start, wouldn't it? And I have dropped myself into a pile of shit by putting my lion in the middle of an ocean. Oh, I can't swim. My mane is getting all wet. And then she's dropping like a rock. I am drowning. Yep, I'm nearly dead. <laughs> and there's a predator just over there. I'm not going to survive. I think I'll say TTFN, tata for now, and cheerio. Thanks, Note, for suggesting an educational game about ecology in which the end of the game is to die. TTFN, everybody. Tata for now. Cheerio and bye bye. Bye bye, everybody.